Sponsored by... Thanks for staying with us and welcome back to My Carolina. We have NC State's SNAP Ed program Steps to Health back in our studio today. Jordan Jeffries James is a family and consumer science agent in Rockingham County who works with Steps to Health. Thank you so much for joining no us worries. today. Thank you for having me. Well, let's talk about Steps to Health. You've been in our studio quite a few times. Not you specifically, though. What is your role in the program? Yeah, so I'm basically a nutrition educator. I come through the different community sites. Um, and teach nutrition education programs as well as try to um, help make the environment more conducive to some of the healthy um, tips and concepts that we're teaching in the class. Sure. Why do you think that nutrition is so hard and that some people have such a you know hard time deciding what's right, what's wrong? There's so many different things thrown to us in you know the media, social media of what's good to eat, what's not. What is missing from Americans' diets? Well. There's a lot of different factors that play into why some people may not feel as comfortable eating healthy or may, may, may be some barriers to keep people from eating healthier options. It could be affordability. Mm -hmm. It could be access to different stores that provide fresh produce. Um, for a lot of people, it can be taste and texture. Um, that can be because, you know, as Americans, we're t we tend to consume a lot of foods that have a lot of added sugar, sodium, a lot of fat. Um, so what's missing from the American diet across each of the food groups is nutrient-dense foods. Um, so we tend to, like I said, get foods that are high in fat, high in sodium, high in added sugar, but typically low in a lot of the vitamins and minerals and fiber that we're really trying to get more of. Sure. So how do we know which nutrients and which vitamins we should be eating, and where do we get these from? Yeah, so the recommendation is not necessarily looking for specific vitamins and minerals is more sort of making a well-rounded diet and looking for more fruits and vegetables which we typically are consuming less of right. um, so a lot of those fruits and vegetables whole grains um, low-fat uh, dairy options lean proteins will all give us a very nutrient-dense diet with low amount of calories and um, just create a well-rounded uh, base for you to get a lot of things that we're missing right. in Right, and they lives. can still taste great as course, well, right? You brought some options here that yeah, are fabulous. So like the bananas, and those are beautiful bananas. That's yeah. something that's easy to go, take absolutely. with you, eat. Absolutely. So we want fresh fruits and vegetables. Well, it can be fresh, um, it can be frozen, it can be canned. Um, we really want just want to encourage people to get fruits and vegetables however they can. So if a uh, canned item is better for you, it's easier for you to prepare, um, more accessible for you, there's no, no worries in you actually pur purchasing that item and bringing that um, to your table. Just try to look for things that are low in added sugar, mm -hmm. low in added sodium. Um, but yeah, those are all great I I items as well. Sure. I love that you say that it's okay to not yeah, to do fresh, that frozen yeah. and canned is just as well. Because I think that scares a lot of people off. And that, like you said, affordability. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And some things may or may not be in season. Um, when you purchase things that are in season, specifically fruits and vegetables, they can be a little cheaper as well. Right. Um, but it's, it's perfectly fine to find things that are fresh, frozen, or canned. Okay. All of them are very health, healthy for you. That's good to know. And then I see you have like a bag of toasted almonds. That's an easy way just to add it on. Yeah, yeah. And that actually brings me to one of the points I wanted to bring out is that um, to make your diet or to make it a little bit easier for you to get healthy things into your your day-to-day -day, um, meals, you can kind of try to sneak things in here and there. Um, so that can be whether you're making burgers, instead of having it with a regular bun, maybe choose a whole grain bun. Um, or sub out the lettuce for spinach. You know, those can be some items that give your food a little nutrient boost, but you still get the satisfaction of having some of the same things that you eat day to day. Right, and you don't have to do a complete, you know, rehaul exactly. of everything in your exactly. kitchen. Exactly. I love that. I think it's so much easier to break it into steps yeah. to get yeah. there along the way. Yeah, and ultimately, little changes here and there are definitely going to add up over time. So we don't want to scare people into thinking they have to make a complete change day one. Right. You can make little steps here and there to get you to whatever goal you're trying to get to. I think everyone, that makes everyone feel better and is happy. Happier, but we always want a little bit of help along the way. Absolutely. Do you have information on a website or is there a way to contact you that we can maybe find out more? To yeah, yeah, so you can definitely reach out to any of your extension offices in any of your counties. Um, and definitely check out HealthyChoiceNC.com is another resource for you. It will take you to all of our steps to health resources. Um, but yeah, if you want to talk to somebody in person, contact your extension office. You may find somebody like me who is an FCS agent who can help you with a lot of these um, issues or provide a program to your community group or, or site. Which is well. amazing that That's you're nice. bringing it to everyone. Well, thank you so much no for coming today. Thank you for everything that you're doing to help our community. You're breaking it down so it's not yeah, so hard, yes, not so intimidating. I say we uh, grab a banana and go have a snack. Hey, sounds good to me. <laughs>
The preceding was sponsored by...